everyone. Um, the amazing speaker before me uh, was saying that I was trying to do a not boring speech. I will try my best, especially because we are going to speak about something which normally is a bit boring, which is the legal world. As you probably know, we have been the first I.O. on OceanX. It went uh, really, really well. And I'm really happy to share our vision, first of all, and our next steps with you and uh, to get you involved in what we do. So, um, first of all, um, just a generic concept, which is maybe normally uh, many events related to crypto, not uh, always remarked. One industry which is going to be heavily affected by blockchain technology will be, of course, the legal one. The legal one. Um, in, uh, in this process, our, our thought from the beginning has been that uh, you can't have a serious smart contract without a new way for solving disputes. Because as you probably know, in real business, when you have a problem with uh, and you have to involve lawyers and you have to get go to before a court, you spend years and years for getting justice and it's quite inefficient. In our view, we build up several models. We uh, reached out the interest of many institutions, as we are going to, say, to see, and uh, we are building up a new system, a new ecosystem made of uh, completely new uh, concepts. So in a few words from the classic paper contract, which is not that efficient because the enforcement is really slow and you need to ask to a judge and so far and so on, we are moving to smart legal contracts. And from the traditional justice, which is heavily imperfect, as you probably know, and it, uh, in some countries, like for example Italy or maybe in the south of Europe, it's even worse. But also I think in the Netherlands it's not always really uh, at the same level of the need of a business. We are going to uh, automate that, those processes, putting basically the courts on chain. So we are doing these uh, two things. And uh, um, just to let you uh, get maybe the core concept of Jor in, a, in a one word, we are trying to empower the normal contracts in business relationship and the entire flow with the power of a smart contract. This is a quite huge challenge. And when you uh, go in this direction, you can't uh, cover only one need. Otherwise, you can't be really effective. So, just let me in two minutes to give you an overview of what we are going to do. And uh, um, in a few words, it's from one side. Do you know WordPress for realizing a website? Okay, so just to let you know, smart contracts are really great. And today, how many of you would be able to develop a smart contract with legal clauses inside? Probably one of two of you. So our interpretation is, let's build up a do-it-by-yourself smart legal contract editor so that you can build up a smart legal contract in 10, 20 minutes. You manage the payment in the platform. And in case of need, you have the access to faster, quicker, transparent, and efficient dispute resolution. So you can cut, for example, from two, three years for getting a judgment. You can cut that time to probably 30, 60, 90 days according to the model that you choose. So this is the core concept. Let people to create easily a new kind of contract, which is legally binding, and in case of troubles, to get a new justice. This might seem theoretic, and I'm going to show you today what we achieved as far. First of all, especially because my background originally was also to be a lawyer, it's quite important to me to say that our token is, uh, we are based in Switzerland with the company, and we obtain the so-called non-action letter of FINMA, this is something I always remark in meetups because if you want to last, and this is one, one of our concepts in Jura, you need to be quite uh, cautious about those two decisions. Otherwise, you, may, you might do a great job for a couple of months but have problems in the future. So uh, our model has been built with a utility token. The token is also a payment token. And uh, essentially, a smart contract is pure code or dry code. It becomes a smart legal contract when there are some legal clauses that make that smart contract also legally enforceable or legally valid according to one or more jurisdictions. This is a um, key element of what we do, of course. Uh, what is the difference between a legal contract and a smart legal contract? Uh, essentially, the difference is that for a contract, you need to ask two people to execute one or more components of the relationship with a smart legal contract that can happen automatically. This is a radically game changer because you can 
uh, cut all the risks of the counterparty. For example, the other party doesn't want to pay, want to pay with a delay, and so far and so on. Um, what we always say, and we have been the first one to build up a scientific literature on this, so your project is quoted by mainly today European juridical literature, uh, there is no effective smart legal contract without a dispute resolution system. This is a really important concept because if you, if you can have the most advanced smart contract, it is going to work for exchanges, of course, fintech, only when there are numbers in place. But in real business, for real commercial agreements, which don't, which don't involve only numbers, uh, smart contracts need something else in case of troubles. Why? Because as you know, a smart contract can't assess subjectivity. So for example, if you do a freelance agreement, how can a smart contract do assess if the logo has been a, a great job or a really bad one? So to empower this new ecosystem, we, have, we were born at the beginning as a dispute resolution system because we don't believe that you can really change the world with smart contracts when you have still to go before a local court for years and years. This, I'm, I think, from the first moment, one of the huge, maybe, lack of the blockchain industry because you can make amazing stuff on chain, but when something happens, you still have to go to your lawyer, to local court, and to wait one, two, three years, maybe with nothing. Um, which is our, let's say, approach and strategy we have followed us so far. Um, as you probably know, we are backed by primary investors like Ambushe Capital, Pascal Ventures, CPC, and so far and so on, but and also by many private investors. 90% of our private investors comes from legal industry or related ones. Uh, the agreements we have made with them, probably some of you participated in the IO, has been to avoid bonuses or crazy stuff that maybe make the token really weak in the long term and so, and so far and so on. Uh, personally, we re renegotiated with the original ones in a positive way and today we uh, prefer to be healthy and sustainable and uh, this is something I think really important for DAPs. Otherwise, you do uh, like probably 99% of projects and you are going to, to die really soon. This, of course, wouldn't be possible uh, Let's say when you work with uh, in really really close with Bishen, we have been uh, we met uh, Bishen at the beginning I think almost uh, one year ago. Uh, with Sunny we started to talk about uh, legal needs of Bishen ecosystem, and uh, probably you, you 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 have read on our medium we are the exclusive partner for covering the legal needs of Bishen ecosystem and their partners, which means that every time we are going to speak about smart legal contracts, justice, dispute resolutions. We are the guys who are helping and supporting it to the best extent we can the ecosystem. Uh, this is something we are really proud of because uh, we uh, like from the beginning the approach of vision to be the blockchain for mass adoption for businesses. And we saw in this link a huge, I think, point of strength because every business, small, medium or large, is going to need, a, let's say, an enabler, enabler uh, on blockchain and legal vertical. And we are working hard in this direction as I'm going to show you really fast. And last but not least, um, we work it really well with these guys of OceanX. Proudly we have been the first IO on their platform and the result has been um, impressive. We uh, oversubscribed for five times the request, uh, which means that uh, the exchange received 10 million of value and uh, the exchange uh, give, gave back 8 million. Uh, also, this, this is something I'm going to dip in a, in a while because uh, it is part of our strategy for the next years. We didn't want to be overfunded on day one without delivering and creating value from the ground. Otherwise, I think also with the network of maybe our founders, myself and so far probably we, our, let's say, um, journey would have been much easier with traditional VCs. We are, we are really believers in DAPS and Web 3.0, and uh, I think it's really beautiful to start developing new models. Uh, otherwise, we would, we would probably have chosen different uh, uh, ways. Um, and uh, two weeks after the IEO, we uh, duly delivered the first Jurbe platform. And this is something I'm really uh, happy and proud at the same time. 
uh, if you go on beta.jewel.io, you can uh, see it and, of course, uh, use it. Um, I'm going to explain you what you can do today with Jewel, and together we are going to see what you will be able to do in the next months. Uh, again, in this way, we wanted to also give a clear, let's say, signal about how we think is is, is important to do the things in this industry. And uh, let me show you what you can do today, even tonight, uh, with a bit of help, of course. We are working to make that easier and to make that smoother. Uh, today, with the beta, you can create a smart legal contract, uploading a legal agreement of different kinds. You can make a payment, which will be in escrow, on chain, of course, and then Essentially, you can manage the payment, the penalty fees, and whatever on, on platform. You can negotiate the terms, accept those, sign all on platform, and in case of disputes, you have a fast method of dispute resolution. For example, if you want to uh, get a work of a logo design activity from China or India or from USA, you can use this platform for being covered of your risks in a really fast way and for free. Um, some, sometimes when you do uh, some new stuff, maybe for some aspects a bit, let's say, original, you get surprised. And uh, what happened was really uh, interesting to me. Uh, spontaneously, some community members came out a few days ago, and we promptly, in 24 hours, uh, called back them. So we are probably, uh, let's say, anticipating you that in four weeks from now, we're going to do on our beta, which wasn't prepared exactly for doing this, but we are going to do the first uh, car purchase agreement on a smart legal contract. It's quite important to remark that this will be a do-it-by-yourself smart legal contract. So in theory, you get there, you upload the smart legal, the legal contract, you make the payment, and then actually you will see how we solve the problem of how, how, how can you be sure that the, execute, the obligation has been promptly uh, in respected. We will put as resolution proof the um, screenshot of the public register of car vehicles of Austria. So basically, we are going to uh, demonstrate how to use this platform with something really serious. And it wasn't organized by us. So if you are in our community, you can see it. And it was really um, spontaneous. At the same time, um, let's say that we are really close with uh, academies of different countries. Um, the first one with which we are starting our lab is from Netherlands. We like really a lot the attitude of Dutch people in tech. We think that the Netherlands can be a key country for innovation in technology and blockchain. Yes. And if you know us, you know that we have a really huge scientific committee. Some professors come from Radboud, of course, and we, um, we are going to announce other five universities by December. Because I know that maybe you are more in involved in typical crypto space, but from a legal perspective, what we do, it's really disruptive, and we are the, like the first one to do exactly this, and just a few teams in the world to do this. And uh, we called this uh, new lab as Lab for New Justice, because we are building the ground of a new system. And uh, uh, I, we will have some surprises in the next month on, on this topic. But I think we have time to, to discuss. Just a single word on the importance to involve universities in this path. When you, um, I didn't go in the details from a legal perspective what we do because they can be a bit boring, but uh, um, we are disrupting a few stuff. One, one, for example, is the responsibility of the judge. So just to give you a simple concept is, as you know, in many countries, for example, in Europe, the judge is always not responsible. This is a constitutional principle in some way. So if the judge is not really qualified, who is going to assess that? Uh, nobody. So that's why sometimes the, all the system is uh, blocked, all the system is inefficient, and we are building up new parameters, a new benchmark for improving also this aspect. Um, we uh, are going the next uh, part of this uh, speech to talk about the future. I'm going to show you some stuff more related on crypto, but we, thanks to Fede, we have a break because on our community we decided to bring with us some t-shirts because um, I hope our logo is appreci appreciated by you. And uh, Fede, if you can uh, help me, we have the 
seven lucky guys to get a t-shirt for uh, if there is one there. I hope the logo is, is appreciable. Raise right your hands, please. <laughs> okay. So we're going to take it for granted. I understand. <laughs> well, there's some... Uh, so I'm going to leave you some contacts here. If you guys want to reach out. Actually, it, it, took, next really, it took really a lot to us to come out with okay. a good logo. Because, you know, when you do legal or you Thank do you. classical stuff, and what actually the CMO motto is big uh, justice, sex again. Promise. It's, uh, it's really something to be, to be done, so and I hope you appreciate your work. But again, it's one side of Exactly, exactly. It came out here. Uh, well, thank you. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's Tari, exactly. Maybe we like So we have more, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. So th thanks, of course, for all the participation on the community. I tried to do my best for following them, and this um, reward campaign was really, really, really good. So next time we will bring more T-shirts and, and so far. Uh, I'm going in 15 minutes to, to close, so um, we are going to see now um, some aspects of the next steps. Uh, this speech has been prepared really in a few hours because uh, we are going to announce major things in one month. So um, let me introduce you a few more concepts and then I'm really happy to share a beer uh, later on with you. Um, so normally nobody speaks about tokenomics or token when you do meetups for dApps, for sure, because tokenomics is one of the more, uh, let's say, complicated topics. So, in a few words, uh, we developed a model of token which has several features for each product. So, as you can understand, when you speak, when you put together legal and blockchain, it's like uh, basically to put, put together two words in which all, all that you don't understand of legal with all that you don't understand with blockchain. This could be something maybe that can happen. So we try to avoid that and try to develop solid tokenomics for every single product. This is really detailed. But my take for you guys today is not to go too much in details because uh, it will take a while. The real philosophy of the token uh, it can explain in two points. The first point is if you believe in a Web 3.0, every token should reflect a specific value. So in this case, is the value of legal industry, let's say justice or dispute or technically dispute resolution. I'm not going to provide you the huge number of reports because it's useless, in my opinion. What really matters, and it's the second point, is that the token is designed for working as a staking token, which means every time we took all the frictions of the legal, let's say, steps of contract creation, contract execution, and dispute resolution, and every time we saw a specific friction which could have been solved in a wise way with decentralization, we used that. We are not blockchain, let's say, fanatics that, hey, yeah, let's use blockchain even when not needed. No, but when it's needed, you, you must do that really carefully. And we developed our token for being a token for ensuring, thanks to economic incentives and disincentives, fairness, not corruption, and quality, which are three key element, key element for everything which is related to legal industry. But uh, all this is important. But there is something probably even more important for ADAPT, or maybe for every project. And let's say that our mantra can be uh, summarized in only three points. These points are, for sure, adoption. The second point is adoption. And the adoption. third point is, oh, exactly. <laughs> so this is something which is um, a serious topic, because otherwise, in this speech, you, you, you hear a lot of stuff which don't make sense. Uh, if you see the current market, really, really a few dApps really work. Probably just one in the world. In our opinion, if, you, if we are here, when everyone, everyone else died, 
and uh, it's not, of course, for my English knowledge, but maybe for something else. And we try, we, we made different choices by different projects. And even today, we are working on something different because we don't think that uh, this industry has already found the right benchmarks. Uh, our take is that you, there are some concepts to be evolved. For example, tokenomics should be replaced by token planning. Decentralized canvas models need to be properly done. The utility ratio of an ecosystem should be progressive over the, over the years. All these concepts are not in place. You can pick up Medium, read even entirely many times. You, you won't find those information. So what we are building in an open way, we, if you are interested, we will do some focus groups for explaining which are our, uh, let's say, um, conclusions about these uh, Thoughts. Um, we are building up a new approach to these topics. For example, delivering immediately some single features of a product and testing them and giving them immediate, let's say, adoption on businesses. Why? Because we don't think it's smart to um, stay two years developing something super complicated that nobody is going to use. We want to go today. We we have serious contacts with many enterprises and we want to immediately get the feedback from them, immediately get, give them, them a real value. So this approach will be explained in our community next weeks, and uh, this implies a new, let's say, uh, staff, which will be made by statuses. The dual status will be positions in the ecosystem, according to a Web 3.0 model. To be really practical, there, there will be active fees, so that the model will be always a utility token one, and uh, even if the model is not, uh, let's say, properly uh, completed, because we want to complete with the feedback of you, we, I personally already, let's say, placed uh, around uh, a good numbers of them, mainly between law firms. Because uh, um, even if you could think about your lawyer like an old one, sometimes we are really well supported by major law firms, and I think you're going to see some brand names of them in the next 12 months. Um, some numbers about Jure today, um, these are just some of them. We have uh, around 11,000 people in our communities on social media. Thanks to some partnership, we have direct access to 5,600 lawyers. Uh, this is something we are going to use really deeply in the, the uh, close future, near future, sorry. Um, as we have seen, uh, we have been a really successful IO, and even in the bear market, we. We are developing a, approaches for selecting, let's say, the right people to, to grow with us. If you are looking for quick money and pump and dump, whatever, we are not the right people. If you are looking for people who are trying to do something, really believing in what blockchain can bring in a wise way, we try to be those guys. And uh, we have been... Uh, do you know San Marino? Yeah. San Marino, okay. Um, it's a small country, of course, within Italy. It's a sovereign country, so it means that they have their own legislation. I have, I have been um, appointed in the scientific committee of San Marino Innovation, which is the regula regulatory authority of San Marino. It's like FINMA or CONSOB or a financial authority here in Netherlands. And I support the uh, country to, up, to adopt a blockchain legislation. Uh, which has been adopted a few months ago, and we have been with Jure the first DAP to become a certified strategic partnership of San Marino. This is something we announced a few weeks ago. As you probably can understand really easily, this means a lot because um, when you do new stuff in legal world, you need institutions to work with you. It's a small country, but it's 1.6 billion of GDP and uh, we are going to do many things with them. They have a great team, and we want, when you want to do also innovations with courts, you can't start speaking with a huge country, because even if you are really well in contact with them, you will require years to get not only a POC, but a really working product. So I can't tell you more, but be connected, and you will see in the next month. Uh, of course, we are main partners of Vichain. Um, again, this is a, we really like the ecosystem, the team, and how they work. Um, I think that if you all are here, probably it's back because we share this, uh, how can we say, uh, we appreciate really the Vision ecosystem and Ocean X ones. So sometimes in this industry, you see a lot of low quality and professionality. This ecosystem is different to, to my, um, my opinion. 
and uh, we have, let's say, many partners joining us, but this will be something I, I can't really uh, anticipate too much about. Um, as blockchain and legal, we try to be present in the media, and uh, we are doing, uh, I think, a good job in the next two months. Um, but again, we just started. It's 45 days, days ago we did the I.O., so we are really, let's say, um, switching on our engines. And in this uh, process, uh, we are really um, willing to involve uh, enthusiast people to join our mission, which is something at least really unconventional in this space, because blockchain and legal is, is, uh, is tough, so we probably are not really in a room with uh, many, many competitors and, and, and people. We launched our uh, program for volunteers, the Jure Oracles program, uh, Fede, if I'm not wrong, we already approved four people of the... No, actually, people are being like, tested right now. Okay, they are under They're testing, yeah. and there are four. And some of them, they were following us from the beginning. Other people joined us in the, in the run. If you like the project, please read more, uh, go deep, in, come back with questions, uh, interact with us. We are more than happy. And if you want to help us on the community side, we really appreciate that, so please give a look to add that on Medium. Um, we just launched also the Meetup channel, and it's something new also for us, and of course we have the Telegram channel. Uh, last but not least, when you start a project uh, independently from the, uh, let's say, um, field in which you want to work, it's quite important to spread the, the word, so please, if you like what you're going to see on our website, do that. And we are going to do in a massive way in the next weeks and months. This is only until the 1st of November. So it's quite, uh, I think I have to spend a lot of time on an on a airplane. And we are going to do the same in a really consistent way because, again, if you, if you want to make a change, you need to really push on. So thank you so much for the attention. And uh, for any questions, we are going to be there. Thanks for our host today. And uh, where is Bojan? Thank you for uh, this, this, this meetup. And, um, Maybe Bojang, Bojang. Yeah. Hey, do you want to? Uh, I, I'm closing, so if you want to make some conclusive words to these guys, please. Then. No.